you've written this famous article. It's, I think it's the most widely read article ever in the history of the Atlantic, uh, why we still can't have it all, about balancing career and family life for women. In, you know, there's a lot of tough careers, but development is particularly tough. I think of aid workers on the front lines in fragile states, and even those who aren't in the most dangerous situations, traveling all the time, trying to balance you know, conference calls in the middle of the night or proposal season Absolutely. when it's time. You know, how, how do you think about where development professionals who are women are heading into this, this new terrain that, that we just talked about for APT? Well, so a couple of things. One, when you have one member of a couple who travels a great deal, uh, either because of the nature of the work as in development or often when you get to a certain level in a company, you have to travel a lot. If you have one member of a couple who's in that kind of job, the other member of the couple has to be the lead parent uh, or the available parent. Yeah. Or if you're taking care of elderly parents, the lead caregiver. So women who want to be in development need to make sure with the people they partner up with that their partner understands that they are going to have to be the available parent yeah. for some period of time. So that's the first thing. We cannot keep thinking about this as how are women going to do both? Sure. Because men do not do both. Right. So women, you know, we can all do both to some degree, but really if a woman is going to be in the role that a man used to be in, yeah. then a man has to support her differently. So yeah. that's the first thing. Yeah. The second is to think about your career in terms of intervals, like interval okay. training, right? Great athletes get into shape through interval training. And we're going to live a long time. The young people in development now can expect to work probably till they're close to 80, mm. which means you can think about your career as those first 10 years when you're not married or you're not partnered in any way and you don't have any caregiving responsibilities, go for it. Mm -hmm. you know? right. <laughs> Get out take of the, the front assignment line. to South take, Sudan Take then. all those assignments and then understand there's going to be a period if you do have children uh, or if you're taking care of others in your life, where you're going to want to be closer to home and plan for that. Mm -hmm. And companies have got to plan for how that can happen. APT has had people who've worked full-time, part-time, no time, and then come back. Mm -hmm. So you need to think about those intervals and plan for them and understand, though, when you're 50 and your kids are out, or 55, mm -hmm. or in my case, 60, <laughs> I mean, when my kids yeah. are finally yeah. gone, you still got 15 to 20 years ahead of you, and you can still travel then. I yeah. mean, if people, older people can join the Peace Corps, people who've been in development their whole lives can get back out on the front lines. Yeah, well, APT is so fortunate to have Kathleen Flanagan as CEO, and I think having more and more women leaders in the development sector helps us think through these issues, absolutely. which are absolutely critical. If we're going to face the challenges that are ahead of us as a, as a world, we need a development sector that's up to that challenge. So absolutely. thank you so much for the work that you're doing and for sharing some time with us today. You're welcome. It's a pleasure.